President Trump says wearing a mask isn't hard as he headed to Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Maryland to visit wounded soldiers. This comes as he faces new criticism for the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic and his controversial decision to keep a longtime friend out of jail. Nicole Killian reports. President Trump arrived at Walter Reed Military Medical Center donning a navy blue mask during a visit with wounded service members and health care workers who've treated COVID patients. I think it's a great thing to wear a mask. I've never been against masks. The president, who has rarely worn a mask in public, not only defended the use, but also doubled down on his decision Friday to commute the sentence of his longtime confidant, tweeting, Roger Stone was targeted by an illegal witch hunt that never should have taken in place. I'm very happy with what I did. Stone addressed reporters outside his Florida home after the president called him to relay the news. He had followed my case throughout, uh, throughout, and then he thought that I had been treated unfairly. Stone was due to report to prison next week to serve a 40-month sentence after being convicted last November on seven felony counts, which include witness tampering and lying to Congress. Democrats from presidential candidate Joe Biden to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi accused the president of abusing his power. So did some Republicans. Mitt Romney chastised unprecedented historic corruption. Every president in modern times has used the pardon and commutation power. Some people may not like it when it's used. But it is the president's power. The president also spent part of his day golfing after postponing a rally in New Hampshire Saturday night. The Trump campaign cited safety because of tropical storm Fay, but some sources tell CBS News there were concerns about attendance. The vice president traveled down to Jacksonville, Florida, to thank the host of the Republican National Convention is set for next month. The city has become a COVID hotspot. An official says the event was held outdoors as a precaution. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House.